Hey guys, how are you? We're on our way to Yekaterinburg International Airport and it's time for us to go to Moscow first and then to New York. All right, we're leaving Yekaterinburg and we're on our way to Moscow. Let us carry in the heaviest luggage. Are you hungry already? Yes. We okay. Get you something to eat. You know, I do the aircraft. In case of criminal persons who don't wear protective masks or clothes, the aircraft carrier could be terminated by those. All right. We are in Moscow, and it's raining. So I ran into my cousin, Vitaly, and we were taking the same plane. And at this point, you might think that I got family all over Russia, which is probably true. <laughs> so he's staying in Moscow, but we are on our way to New York. All right. Wow. Just keep going. <laughs> Moscow airport is huge and uh, there are a few airports in Moscow. This one is Sheremetyeva and we have to get to Terminal D. So let's find Terminal D. Alright, so we need Terminal D. So in case you wonder, Vitaly is my cousin and uh, he's a designer, illustrator by profession. And so he's here in Moscow to meet some of his colleagues and uh, uh, spend some time together. You know, he's here for two or three days and that was uh, totally by coincidence that we met. Now the plane is landing and we can see New York City from above. Now the this borough that we see it's called Brooklyn and actually this part, the beach, it's called Brighton Beach which is a Russian community area and right next to it is Coney Island. We're now flying over Queens and it's funny that you see a lot of uh, high-rise apartment buildings which kind of reminds you of Russia. All right, guys, we have made it. We found our hotel and we are in New York City. If you don't believe me, take a look. All right, so this is New York City. Oh, there is our hotel. All right, guys, we're in New York City and welcome to our hotel room. I know this girl. Her name is Lana. Hello. Hi, Lana. So, this is the view from the room. You know, it's among skyscrapers. I don't really have an understanding for where we are, but we're somewhere in New York. Okay, so Lena, have you figured out how to make coffee? Uh, no, I love to drink some water during the morning time, and I didn't find any bottles with water. Really? But I found what did you find? this one. I understand that we in America, this is coffee machine. Okay. Yeah, they don't have uh, like a ki kitchen. Oh. Ch chaining. Like a kettle? Uh-huh, they don't have kettle to boil the water. Right. And they have only coffee machine. Coffee machine. Yeah, and this one, I was wondering what is this for watch? Okay, well, I was just thinking maybe it's a nice bucket. <laughs> That's just so. my guess. Maybe it's something different. All right, so some coffee supplies and a coffee machine. Yeah, we have to filter coffee, American coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, and by the way, forgot about tea. It's early morning. It's six twenty in the morning, but we got up at 
4 a.m. That is because of the jet lag. You know, we came last night at 7 p.m. and we went straight to bed because of the long flight and all and the time difference. So we kind of adjust into the local time. And uh, can you prove us that I've read that in Manhattan, in New York City, you can drink water, top water, and we don't have any bottle. And the morning has started. station if you don't have the metro card you can actually pay with your credit card and I didn't know this so let's try if it works if it's got this sign uh, Wi-Fi okay okay smart so see. See? It work. Uh, the station looks like a subway station in Russia because it's so clean yeah and it's clean clean okay Lana's got a problem in New York. She says it's not very clean. Yeah, I think you're gonna come. The end's gonna be Sixth Avenue. Four years old, Sixth Avenue. You're gonna have to suck the around. Okay. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, three blocks or so. Yeah. Uh, give or take. All right. Thank you. What? You need an opponent? I do. Okay. <laughs> I <have to> see. <laughs> right. So you're just playing with yourself, practicing. Uh, um, at the moment, yeah, ATM. It's it's rehearsing opening. Wonderful. So let's try some local pizza. Got it. You excited? I bet it's gonna be good. What do you think? It's like with a thin slice of testaco. Dough. Dough. With thin slice of dough, and it's a little bit crispy. And I love it that it's not so spicy and not so salt. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Bleecker Street Pizza. This is our famous Nona Maria. That's what we are known for. It's a fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, Reggiano Parmigiano, and uh, olive oil. We, uh, we've been here since about 16 years now. And uh, we started off with uh, Doug Greenwood, my uncle, who was a retired uh, captain, NYPD. And his dream was to have a pizzeria. So after 9-11, he decided to open up this place and we've, uh, we've been doing it ever since. Wonderful. I certainly enjoy your pizza. Thank you so Thank much. You. See you later. Take care. Thursday in New York City. Well, my first impression is that there's a lot of police on every street. Seriously. We're in the uh, lower part of Manhattan and also a lot of, a lot of homeless people. It's just the way garbage collection works in New York City and it's more of a practical approach, you know, but too many foreigners and people from outside of town, it kind of shocks them to see so much garbage on the street. Uh, it will all be collected at the end of the day and then the next day it's all going to be clean and that's just a more like pr practical approach. New York City has a lot of parks and that's really a wonderful thing because you're just walking down the block and then all of a sudden you see a park and there's porch facilities. So I, I mean living in living here would probably be very comfortable and I'm really starting to enjoy it even though there's some downsides which kind of are into your eyes first of all you know like garbage and this and that and homeless people but then after a while you can see it for what it is it's a you know it's a beautiful very comfortable place i'm enjoying it so far Go. Not very crowded. Only big now. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this my first vlog from the US and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. I want to say a special thank you who contacted me and offered to meet in the US and even host us. Thank you guys so much and I'll get in touch with you.